All right, what's going on, everybody? I want to share an experience with you. Um, and this started about two weeks ago. This is all COVID stuff. I thought that I can get away from talking about COVID every day. I can't, can't. There's too many blatant things, like serious things going on. So two weeks ago, I was contacted by the Center District of Health. I think that's what they're called. Um, and they said, hey, somebody that has come in, in contact with you has been exposed to COVID and they tested positive. I said, okay, got it. Um, and they told me the individual, I said, okay, I'm familiar. I did not come remotely close to this person, but uh, fair enough. And they said, um, we are going to be now contact tracing you. And I said, I don't consent to that. Um, don't contact trace me. I don't give you any permission. And then um, they said, okay, well, we're just, this This is legally what we're, we have to do. And I said, well, I just don't consent to that. And <clears throat> they said, well, um, have you had any signs of COVID or symptoms of COVID? And I said, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm doing great. And they said, okay, you need to self-quarantine for 14 days. And I said, well, yeah, I'm not going to do that either. I don't have any symptoms. I have no reason to self-quarantine. Um, so thanks, but no thanks. And they said, you have to self-quarantine. I said, what is the point? And they said, we're trying to prevent the spread of, of COVID. Got it. So, um, I said, okay, well, whatever, whatever you got to do, that's fine. And they said, we need you to self quarantine. I said, all right, I didn't. Um, because you know what? I don't have symptoms of COVID-19. Um, and if you're, if you're saying, well, you're a p potentially a carrier. No, like this individual that tested positive for COVID-19, I wasn't even within 15 feet of them. Anyway, so they said, okay, well, we're going to follow up every two days with you through this 14-day period. And I said, no, I don't consent to that. I don't need you calling my office all the time and because um, they just had my office phone number. And they said, okay, at the end of the 14 days, we're going to give you a call. And I said, all right, fine. So they called uh, basically every day this week. And I was just super busy. I, I wasn't able to take the phone call. Um, so I called them back today and the individual I talked to, his name was Eric. And he said, Hey, Dr. Ogle, I just wanted to see, uh, if you had any symptoms of COVID. And I said, Nope, I'm good. Thanks, man. And he said, okay, uh, well, I know that you're a doctor and that you're familiar with, uh, COVID and symptoms and all of that, but I just, um, I just had to check up on you. And I said, that's fine. And he said, I can remove you from being traced now. And I said, okay, well, I don't honestly, like when they say that trace, like they just have my name because whoever was tested positive gave it to me. Um, and I said, okay, well, I just have a question for you. And he's like, yeah, how can I help? And I said, I'm hearing that a lot of the spike in the COVID cases has to do with these phone calls where, um, basically if somebody is being traced, like I was, if I were to report and say, Hey, I have, yeah, a runny nose and a little bit of a cough that that would actually be a positive. Like that would count towards a COVID COVID-19 positive statistic. And I said, is that correct? And he said, yes, that is correct. And I said, that's freaking crazy. Are you kidding me? Like, how can you test or, or how can you say that I'm positive just based on a runny nose and a cough? Like that could be freaking allergies. That could be cold. And this kid's just doing this job. Like I'm not getting mad at him. I'm just, I'm just frustrated with this whole situation. And he said, um, we can count you as a positive COVID-19 case if you have positive symptoms, um, and we don't require a test in order to count you as COVID-19 positive because of, it was this really long freaking planned out phrase, because of the epidemiological risk factor of COVID or something like that. And I was like, okay, so if I come in contact or if I were to, like one of, one of, my, uh, one of my staff members, has taken out stitches of multiple HIV positive patients. If, I, if, if she took out stitches for a, a positive HIV patient, does that mean that she is potentially positive? Anyway, so it, the point that I'm trying to make is I, I don't believe these stats. I don't think that it's accurate. I know that we've got a, a mandatory mask mandate. My question is to what extent? And I'm not really looking for people to argue one way or another. I'm just sharing my experience, sharing that if I were to have reported that I had a little bit of a runny nose and a cough, 
which could easily happen with some allergies or if I was doing construction up in my attic, I could have easily those symptoms that that would have been a COVID-19 uh, positive test. It's freaking madness. And so, uh, I mean, do what you want, think what you want, but just know like this is my personal experience. So if you know me, uh, I'm not messing with you. Like this is the exact thing that happened today. It was kind of crazy too, because when I was talking to him, I, when he said, yes, that would be, that would be counted as a COVID-19 positive test. Um, immediately I put him on the speakerphone and I went up to the front desk with where three of my, three of the girls were working up front and they just sat there listening. And I basically asked him the same question so that he would repeat it again, same questions. And they, they, their, their jaws just dropped like, what the heck? This is unreal. So uh, there's something at play. There's something going on. Um, I know that there are reports of tests being sent in where a patient hasn't even been swabbed. One of my buddies out in Montana um, has patients where um, they actually nurses. The patients are nurses and they've been, they got the COVID-19 test. They didn't swab anybody, sent it in got it back and those were positive. And so I know that we're seeing those pop up all over the place. So that was my experience. I think it's pretty crazy. And honestly, most times I don't really post anything about this stuff. Uh, I try to avoid it because it's, it's so emotionally driven, but I look at, I look at the stats, look at the science and look at the data and it's freaking crazy guys. So I don't know if you've had any sort of experience, uh, then let me know. Um, and I'm, this is completely disconnected from anything else going on from the riots, from the, the looting, from the protesting. I'm just saying, look at COVID, like, it's frustrating, man. And uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, my bro over here, just hanging out, checking out his garden. Right, dude? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> because it's much more peaceful than all the COVID crap that we are in. So anyway, just wanted you guys to know, love you. Peace out.